safety first. The technique described in this video involves making adjustments to the printer while it is running. So keep in mind that there will be hot parts and use precaution around them and there will be moving machinery with gears. So make sure not to get your fingers or any loose articles of clothing or jewelry or anything else stuck in them while they are moving. Do not do this technique without adult supervision. Now, the problem is I threw off the level on my build plate and I need to re-level my build plate. So here's the technique that I use to level my build plate. Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor and I threw the level off of my Monoprice Select Mini 3D Printer so I've got to re-level it. So let me show you how I do that. All right, so I got the Mini here and the Monoprice Select Mini 3D Printer has a four-point leveling system that you screw from the top. Now, uh, the first thing you need to do is go to the Move menu on the main menu, which you get to just by twisting the dial to move, clicking it then moving the z-axis up just a little bit so that you can clear off the nozzle make sure there's no oozing plastic sitting out of that then go to the home axis and hit that whoops I apparently went too far there we go home axis now the idea is that it's going to bring the z-axis all the way down to what it thinks zero is and it's moving to the zero position on the x and the y which is less important we're gonna move that around here so let's exit out here and now you see that you can move things in the X and Y, theoretically in the Z, but I've never been able to put enough torque to do that. And the w the way that they tell you to do it most of the time is you slide a piece of paper, you, you move it close to the screw, slide a piece of paper underneath it, and if, you, if it moves without resistance, then loosen the screw a little bit. So let's see if I can get that up just a little bit. Okay, and then try it again until you start to feel just a little bit of, of a pull on the paper. Up oh, too much. There we go. And then go to the next screw and repeat the process until you've got it to where you're just getting a little bit of a pull on the paper. And the idea is that a piece of paper is approximately the, the length of, or the size of one uh, extrusion. Uh, depth so you know you're setting your first layer and mind you if you do things with different layer heights if you make things real thin you're gonna want that to be a little bit tighter that's why I use a nice thin piece of paper however I have heard people complain that this method is is just not engineeringly enough for them you know they'd rather get a little feeler gauge underneath there and and test the height exactly and I am with you 100% uh, for my other printer I have this really cool gauge here that tells me exactly when it's at the right height and I level it right on the screws but obviously I could maybe rig something up like that for this and I'm sure somebody has but this is my method uh, and it works but don't stop here this is this is the trick that I want to share with you once you're done with the piece of paper and making sure that you've got it tight enough and loose enough yeah that's about right then I want you to prepare and slice a special file well it's actually not that special a file but the way that you slice it is special so let's go over to the slicer and talk about that now of course when I did this I did it in Simplify 3D but for you guys I'm gonna be doing it in Cura today and it doesn't matter the technique is the same across all slicers the first thing you need to do is load a model the model itself is less important it should be a simple test model either a 20 millimeter test cube in my case I have a 1 millimeter cube because I use this thing for all sorts of things I just scale it non uniformly I'll put I'll put a link uh, a card to a video where I use this technique and of course when I load it in Cura does not like it he's like yeah it's too small let's make it bigger no just leave it its size see it's teeny tiny it's a one millimeter cube and now let's scale it up <laughs> let's make it into 20 millimeters now again the model itself isn't that important what we're going to take advantage of is the skirt and brim so switch to layer view and you can see whoops let's just keep that at 20 please then turn that off now what you can see 
here is these lines that are drawn around the outside. That's because under build plate adhesion, I switched to being a skirt. Normally this is a brim and it goes like this. Now brim, skirt, they're all good, but we're gonna manipulate them. We're gonna take them and push them towards the edge as far as possible so that it's going around the very edge at first. And this is going to be an advantage to us because that will allow us to see the level close to the screws. Now, so like I say, switch it to a skirt. Now we have to manipulate the settings of the skirt and it doesn't show us the settings at first. So click on the little gear icon in Cura. These settings are already there in the advanced uh, uh, tabs and other setting and other slicers. But for Cura, we got to tell it that we want to have these settings. So we want to see, let's see, skirt distance and skirt line count. And now we can see those settings here. So the distance it says is three millimeter. No, no, my my monoprice is a 20 mil or 120 uh, Q or 120 uh, square, 120 millimeter square. And this is a 20 millimeter cube. So we wanna push it out. Uh, you know, if we said 50, I think that would take it right to the edge, possibly a little bit too close. Let's see. It's not liking that, so let's uh, let's drop that down to 40, maybe. Yeah, that takes it right to the edge. Let's maybe let's maybe push it a little bit to 45, and then the line count. Normally, it just does one skirt line. We're gonna go ahead and crank this up to oh, we'll make it go around 10 times. And that way, what it's gonna do now is before it even starts printing, before it starts printing that very first layer. It's gonna go around and around and around and around 10 times. And we're going to use that to level the build plate while it's live. So go ahead, save that, set, uh, save this G-code file, and then let's go back to the printer. All right, so now we got that file sliced, and I saved this file on my SD card uh, level calibration right there, and I run it. Now we're just gonna let the extruder heat up and the build platform heat up and we'll see what comes of this in just a second. All right, so here we go, preheated and getting ready to print. It's going to draw that first line because that's how Simplify 3D primes the nozzle. Uh, and, well, it's coming out, but it's not sticking to nothing. That's good, that means that if it's not sticking, that means that we need to, uh, loosen the build plate and bring it up just a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Loosen it, bring it up. How are we doing over here? Bring that up just a little bit. Let's try and get this out of here. Okay, it's starting to stick on this corner a little bit. Now this sort of live leveling as you're going is okay, but keep in mind that the bed is hot, so try to watch out for that. And that you're working with a moving machine, so keep all loose clothing away from the mechanics. Uh, that includes long sleeves and, uh, you know, maybe even ties if you're wearing them. Um, there we go, coming around. Okay, this corner's starting to stick just a little bit. That's good. We're going good. So I think I'd set it up for 10 rounds on the round looking good now it's starting to stick now it's still a little bit loose you can tell it's not putting down a good layer it's kind of blip, 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 blip. so loosen it just a little bit more now if you're getting a jam if it's coming out and you're hearing it stutter then it's too tight and bring it down just a little bit this clearly needs to go up on all sides though 
a little bit more, a little bit more. Tiny little, tiny little adjustments. Quarter turns, eighth turns. All right, so there we go. First layer down. Now that I got the edges all sorted out, it's a little bit messy, but it's not as pretty. You can see it. the first layer going down on the middle is perfect. You can see exactly what you want to see on that. Cleans off nice. That is a good first layer right there. And so the calibration job has done its job. I now know that this build plate is level and I'm ready to go on and print other things. So there you have it. There's the best way to level your build plate so that you know that it's ready to go. And of course, remember, keep your adhesion good. Make sure you got build... Uh, 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 glue stick or whatever you're using to adhere onto it um also this is a hot build plate and while it's not too hot i can rest my hand on it it's not burning me too much uh be careful around it and a hot nozzle you are working around a moving printer so this is a little bit dangerous it's definitely an advanced technique for more mature uh printer users but it works just fine let me check my temperatures yeah, everything's cooling down nicely so that's it Remember as you work on this, it's safety first, and uh, now you know how to level your build plate and make sure that it's level. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.